Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love and welcome. And for my returning subs and my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support that you send me every day. The in information, the just the loving vibes, and all the positive things that you bring to my life that I bring yours it is so greatly appreciated. And for that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you've been watching my videos and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And even if you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. It's just, you know, an even exchange thing. Like, we get to know each other and stuff like that. <laughs> so if you feel like you want to drop me a line, go ahead and drop me a line. Or even if it's about positive feedback or just tell me about your spiritual gift. All is welcome. Long as it's positive, all is welcome. Or if you feel like, you know, the video really inspired you or, you know, just really put you in good vibes. Spread the word you know spread the news give me a thumbs up like and even share it'll all be greatly appreciated and thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and this nice I mean oh my gosh this music in the background this meditation music I'm listening to is called pure clean positive energy vibration meditation music healing music relax mind and body I will post that link in the description box below I hope everybody enjoyed their 4th of July. I would love for y'all to drop me a line and let me know how y'all spent it. I spent mine relaxing, watching movies with my daughter. We watched so many different movies yesterday. Um, we watched one called The Wildling. We watched The Insidious Last Key, which I can really relate to. Um, and it was another one we watched. I can't even remember. But it was like Wildling and something else. And it was just, all of them were really good though, but... It was really good. Oh, yeah. Um, Death Do Us Part. That movie got on my nerves, but that was a really good movie, though. Um, and that was good. But, uh, yeah, drop me a line and let me know how your day was and, um, you know, how you spent your holiday. But, yeah, the video today is about Twin Flame 101. All impasse on their destination truth. You know, we're all sent somewhere to, you know, to help people grow, to help people learn, or you to learn something because it's just like when these things start popping off, you know, and there's a lot of folks that are, you know, just now awakening and they don't know the reason why they act the way they act. You know, people probably told them, you know, they're weird or they're off or they're crazy. You know, we're all on that destination truth. And it's just like, don't ever sell yourself short because you want to worry about what the next person thinks about your journey you know this is your journey a lot of people are not going to understand your journey you know there'll be a, there'll be people on your level that vibe the same way you do that you know you'll be able to just click with like that and there'll be some people that you've been chilling with or whatever and you just don't vibe with them like that no more it's nothing against them it's just that you're on your journey when you're trying to thrive and trying to you know make yourself a better person and live in your true purpose you know in your divine plan whatever the universe has in store for you you know there's just no time for half step and you know I have to tell myself every day don't hold yourself you know um, into things because of fear because you're safe you feel safe there because you know how things work no don't do that <laughs> don't do that because you feel it's safe you it, it's just it's a bad thing and it's, it's selling yourself short and it's a cop out for yourself and I had to tell myself that anytime you fall back on things because of fear you cling on to things because you don't know how it's gonna go this is your destination truth the, the things we're gonna go through things hardcore right now with everything that's going on the eclipse the shift things we all feel like there's something coming and we don't know what it is some of us are scared some of us are excited I mean myself I'm excited because I know something good's about to happen I keep that positive mindset whatever is going to happen it's gonna be a blessing it's going to be a true blessing. And that's how I have to keep telling myself, you know, don't fall yourself short because it's just like, you know, I was watching the movie yesterday. And even though I seen 
um, Insidious. Uh, I think that's like four or whatever, but I love all the Insidious movies. And I know some people are like, Rosalind, that's bringing negativity to your life. And I said, no, not to me, because I can really relate to horror movies. I don't know the reason why, but there's a lot of them that I have picked that basically helped me you know, reciprocate and understand the things I was going through in my life. And it was just with her, it was like basically her father punishing her, like physically and mentally, emotionally, because of her gift of her being able to help people understand why they're seeing things or, you know, she's seeing ghosts or they're speaking to her or whatever. And he really punished her for that and told her, you know, people are going to think you're crazy. People are going to you know, think something's wrong with you. You're not seeing anything. Even though he knew she was touched with that gift. Because there was a lot of things he couldn't explain that she would tell him. And, you know, and I, I could straight relate to her. And I mean, tears started flowing because I remember being punished. Because I was able to see things. There was things I would know about that, you know, there's no possible way that anybody told me. It was just something I knew. So it's just like when you're on your truth, no matter if you're a Hayoka or you're just a twin flame or you're just a whole bunch of little nice little, you know, a gift, you know, shish kebab wrapped up into a big old caboodle, whatever you want to call it. You know, you do, you be proud of everything you do. You know, if there's anything that is coming true from your heart in a positive way to make an impact or a dent in all this crazy chaos, please keep moving. You, you, you. You stand in your ground. Stand your ground. Keep finding and keep pushing. You know it's hard, but you know nothing is easy. You know if it comes too easy, it ain't going to be worth it because you're not going to learn nothing in the process. You're not going to learn. So, you know, stand in your truth. You know, live with your convictions. Deal, stand firm in your convictions. You just know you might not understand the path that you're on. And I say that a lot. Because a lot of us need to hear that each and every day. You might not understand that path. But you know you have not been brought this far for you to be disappointed. Even though you might feel like things is happening to you. Like there's people out there to get us. But you have to realize when things tend to get snatched away. Or things tend to get stopped. is mainly because of things that we're doing or people we're hanging out with. Or just because we're taking things for granted and not being grateful for the little things that we get in life. Because sometimes it's just like if we work hard. And I had to learn that for myself now. I had to learn that for myself because I was taking for granted all the little blessings because of the things that I wanted right then and there. I wasn't accepting those little blessings. Because if you can't accept the little ones that the universe places in your lap then what the heck they gonna bless you with the big ones for because they're like that well dang she didn't you know he or she didn't earn this you know if they work hard you know they might stumble you know you might get hurt by what people say about you or you know you might not have got that promotion or you might not have got that job but just know that there's something better in store for you but you learn from that you, you know they see that you didn't give up you kept pushing and that's why I keep pushing you know, there's some days that I'll give y'all three videos in one day. There's some days I'll give you two. Some days you'll get lucky if you get, you know, one back to back to back. You know, because there's days that I feel like I can't keep going. But then I'm just like, what content did I have? That What did I learn for today that I can go ahead and tell my extended family that they need to be reminded of or they need to know? You know, and it's not like I'm saying I'm all holier than now, but it's just like we all need somebody to give a helping hand to something because, we, you know, we all need to learn from somebody or we all need to teach somebody something. It's, it's all a give and take process. We all connected in one kind of way or another. So I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, like I said, I hope you enjoyed your, your holiday. You know, so I know some people say it sucks because, you know, you had to turn around and go back to work the next day. And I truly, you know, I apologize about that because I know how that could be. But um, I hope everybody enjoyed their day. I hope they were safe. You know, nobody got hurt because usually on 4th of July, something always happens. But, um, but yeah, my nerves were pretty wrecked yesterday because if I wasn't looking, you know, just like I forgot it was Mimi or something. Mimi or Joanne probably, Joan told me that. And it was probably Mimi. But, uh, 
it, it, it was it, my nerves got shot or misty i can't remember but i'm giving all y'all shout outs <laughs> i'm giving all y'all shout outs so it, it was just like yeah my nerves were shot because if i expected it then i'll be okay but they were like you know you're gonna come shoot something no i'm good i'll just watch y'all I don't even get excited about no more. You know, I blew my hands up a couple of times when I was little. You know, I had little blisters on my hands, and I let a bobcat, you know, pop in my hand and go, or a bottle rocket. So it's it's just like, nah, I'm good. I learned my lesson on that. But I hope you were able to resonate with my video. I hope you were able to get something out of it. Whatever, you know, even though that meant the same thing, but I just want to be extra about it anyway. But you know, you stay safe, stay blessed. Remember, you are always loved. Um. So now as much love and light as possible. So now as much positivity as possible. And I will see you on your next, my next video. Like and subscribe. Even hit me up. I would love to hear from you. And I will talk to you later. Stay blessed. Peace. And be wild.